another windy day, so I'll try to protect the mic. I'm uh, training the cucumbers to climb up their little trellis here. They are doing everything not to, but cucumbers generally, in my experience, don't like climbing on trellises. They like to just flop all over the place. Oh, uh, let's see. We've got some baby cucumbers, but they're just female flowers at this point. They haven't bloomed yet. So maybe in a few weeks we'll have an actual cucumber. Let's see, I'm trying to grow there. And I also I have a few flopping over the side here, so uh, giving them something to grab onto when they get ready to. Okay. Over here, I think I am almost ready to say for certain which uh, which uh, tomato is which. Um, over here, I don't know if I got that. I better put my hand in there because I can't tell what I'm showing you. Hold on a second here. It rained like crazy last night, about three inches of rain, about four hours. So I'm going to sink up to my knees in mud here. Okay, there we go. Still don't know if you can see this real well, but that is a very heavily ribbed tomato. So I'm thinking, since all the pictures I've seen of purple calabash show very heavily ribbed tomatoes, like that, I'm thinking that's what these front two plants are. And the ones in back, I think, are Paul Robeson because the tomatoes I'm seeing from this, these plants, let's see if I can find the biggest one right here, are smoother. Not totally smooth, but smoother. So uh, that is in keeping with the pictures of Paul Robeson's that I've seen. So uh, hopefully we finally got it figured out to rain some more today. It's the only good thing is it's saving me on my water bill because uh, I was having to water every day for a while and now I haven't had to water in two weeks. These I think are um, orchid peppers. I'm pretty convinced and these look to me like tame jalapeno. And they are, there you go, flower there. So they are catching up. They had a rough start, but uh, I think they'll be okay now. And this is a Sweet 100 cherry tomato. And I don't know if you can see. Right there. So we have got a few. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. I'll be right back. Okay, through sneezing. We're having a real mosquito fest out here, so I might be slapping <laughs> and swearing. Um, over here, hopefully that was pollinated. That is a racer, racer plus, I should say. And uh, let's see if cargo is doing anything. Oh yeah, hopefully that was pollinated as a cargo. So uh, over here, I'm noticing this big moon, and I'm noticing that all the baby pumpkins, or the female flowers, excuse me, so far, are yellow, and uh, but they don't drop off. They stay yellow for forever. So I'm wondering if these start out yellow and uh, then you know grow into orange pumpkins or or what the deal is I can't find a video anywhere that it, you know explains the growing process with these uh, big moons but um, it does seem that they start out yellow and stay that way there's another one that one got rained on pretty hard over here we have one of the volunteer 
cherry tomatoes. And I think it's produced already. Yep, got a little tomato on it. Uh, got some good bulbs on the on the red uh, onions. And the corn. Country gentlemen. Um, looking good uh, in this bed, not looking so great in this bed. I'm thinking maybe some nitrogen is needed. So I'll work on that. Those could be just the older leaves, but uh, yeah, it just doesn't look good to me. This one looks fine. And uh, about my little hissy fit last week at, at uh, YouTube. That's Music Box. I'm going to stay here for a while on YouTube. I know you bet you were betting that I would. Um, after I registered my complaint, my viewership went back up to normal. And, uh, you know, it's been a little bit better. It's just it was very suspect the way that happened. So, I'll keep an eye on the situation. This is uh, Camelot. She has a bubblegum smell to it. Um, but for right now I'm staying because for a channel that has the low viewership that mine generally has, it's really not worth $5 a month. <laughs> not at this point. Okay, I am going to be concentrating more on the pumpkins from here on out. Ugh, Japanese beetles. I can tell you, they're wrecking everything. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be concentrating on the pumpkins uh, because, after all, it's somebody's backyard pumpkin patch. And, uh,. We are entering the time of the season when what looked like a lot of space in the garden is not looking like enough all of a sudden. So things will be getting more more interesting with the pumpkins in, in the coming weeks. I just saw a red warty thing, female flower I think. And of course now that I'm over here I won't be able to find it. Oh there we go, that's a baby. There. So, uh, we should have lots to show you with just the pumpkins in the coming weeks. And, uh, being that it's another windy day, I'll just cut this short and we'll talk to you next time.